you know what, maybe you just didn't eat enough yesterday. Yeah, you know what, that is probably it. I know you wanted to fit into that dress. You think she made to match her hair hoops to my hair hoops? Ha! I'll make a secret so I can do that. Seriously. Bumping and grinding at all. The way she's grinding at all. Oh, right this way. Nice to see you too. Just the three of you. Hey, don't worry about cover talk. It's all me. The show is ultimately tackles the, the topic of drink spiking and drug facilitated sexual assault. The story centers around a girl and she's just getting ready to go out and so we follow her through meeting a series of characters. <laughs> oh my god, Ella and the oh. Like you think, like she was in second year or something? I'm so over that behavior. Second year was so like, Eight ago. <laughs> Each one of them has an opportunity to step in and prevent something bad from happening and they don't. And that's not a conscious choice that they make, but that is something that because uh, awareness hasn't been huge on the topic of drink spiking, they just don't know any better. Do you have anything you'd like to say to me? Or the rest of the tenants of this building? Hmm? You kept the entire building up last night, Missy. You got in at nine minutes to one and then proceeded to wake up the entire neighborhood. Well, I was about to call the police. Well, until I heard you laughing hysterically, I thought there was some sort of foul play going on, not an obstacle course. This show, it was based on a personal experience and basically it's been touring for the last 10 years. I really do believe it's a, a very important topic but it's ultimately a very entertaining play. It's not a safety presentation, it's not a lecture, it's an entertaining piece of theatre that students will, um, they can't help but enjoy. And then afterwards they might realise that they've learned something. Yeah, I mean I do play like 16 characters, and some of them are funny and some of them are really serious. But it's really fun to have that balance because it, it shakes it up for the audience as well. Like maybe he just dropped you off. I mean someone clearly looked after you, you got home. Ew. Really? Well, I don't know, maybe you fell. Ooh, I know the greatest remedy to cover bruises. You simply take a little bit of concealer and then you mix it with a... Hey, hey, I am just trying to help here. I think it is a fight to kind of bring it out to the schools, to bring it out to university colleges, to bring it out to the general public and let people know the message. Because if we don't collectively as a society stand up to do something about it, then it's just going to continue.